Hey friends, Steve Guttenberg here and I am the Audiophiliac and today I want to talk about the difference between box speakers, which you know very well I'm sure, and panel speakers, which you might not know as well. Panel speakers like MagnaPan speakers or electrostatic speakers, any flat speaker that has sound, as much sound coming out of their rear as in their front and is an inch or two thick, we'll call that a panel speaker and a box speaker is usually a, a box, right? So the first thing that you should think about with a box speaker is a high-end box speaker or at least let's say an, uh, an audiophile box speaker is that most of the budget of making a box speaker goes into building a box and in a panel speaker like a magnapan uh, or an electrostatic speaker like a Mark Logan uh, most of the money goes into the driver because th there's no box there's nothing to contain the back wave there's no elaborate bracing or finishing or any of the things that consume most of the budget in a box speaker are pretty much absent in a panel speaker. Most of the budget goes into making the driver. I'm going to just make up a number that in a box speaker 75% of the budget of building that speaker is building the box. So 25% for the crossover and the driver. And I would say in a MagnaPan that it's, it's reversed that. I think 75% goes into building the driver the panel and uh, the and the crossover and the other 25% is the frame and the finishing and the and the grill. So that's that's a remarkable thing to think about that the money goes into making the thing that makes the sound in a panel speaker. And in a box speaker most of the money goes into the thing that's about containing the sound, the back the sound coming out of the back of the dynamic drivers. So one is about trying to contain that sound of the of the dynamic drivers in a box and in another one the the rear uh, the sound coming off the rear of the panel is just goes into the room and i think that's part of the reason i like the sound of dipoles is they energize the room in a completely different way than a box speaker box speaker is basically pushing sound forward and in a dipole the sound is coming from the front and also from the rear and energizing the room in a different and to me, more realistic way, in most ways. And I will get to the ways that it's not better shortly. But um, think about it this way. In a box speaker, even extremely expensive high-end speakers, most of them have a one-inch tweeter, one-inch dome tweeter. Compare that to a 48-inch tall ribbon tweeter on a MagnaPan or the whole height of a, of a Martin Logan electrostatic speaker. That's a big difference, that, that high frequency energy of, of a drummer smashing a cymbal that comes off this one inch tweeter in a box speaker versus the entire height of a panel speaker. That's huge. Because um, after all, the cymbal is big. The cymbal <laughs> drum kit is not one inch in diameter. Um, these are very simplistic observations. I'm not saying anything profound here. I'm just tr throwing out observations. Um, and again, having that sound coming off the back of the panel speaker does present problems because you have to deal with the back wall and how that, you know, if it's a mirror or, or uh, windows or something, that's generally a no-no with dipole speakers, less of a problem, still a problem with box speakers, but m a bigger problem with a panel. Um, and generally, because of that energy coming off the back of a panel, they are harder to place than a box speaker, no doubt about it. And, and living with MagnaPans, I can tell you, they, they want to be where they want to be, and if you put them where they don't want to be, you're not really going to get what they, can, what they can do. Now, box speakers, they do have advantages over panels. If panels did everything better than a box, then no one would ever buy boxes, but I assure you that box speakers outsell panel speakers by a factor of probably 10 or 20 to 1, so most people are buying box speakers. And they're cheaper to make, generally, but or not so generally. But the thing is, box speakers um, have usually good ones have greater dynamics, greater punch than in a panel speaker. They can rock and roll better. The bass is faster and punchier and hits harder. And those are those visceral differences um, are uh, are lacking in panel speakers for the most part. Um, I think, I think box speakers generally present a more focused, sharper focused image. Panel speakers, it's bigger and more diffuse. Again, uh, describing this in broad strokes. Um, 
they each have their advantages. I'm not saying that panels are in every way better. I just am thinking about this a lot lately. And uh, if you've never heard a panel speaker, well, uh, if you have a store nearby, go listen. If you don't have a store, uh, go to a hi-fi show sometime and hopefully they'll have some. Generally, you know, you don't actually hear that many uh, panel speakers in hi-fi shows, I guess because they're harder to set up in, in hotel rooms. But I don't know, maybe you have a friend that has a pair. Uh, reach out, discover, look. Anyway, as always, I want to hear your comments uh, uh, about this question, panel speakers versus box speakers. Um, if you like these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and come back often. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show, so it comes up uh, daily. Anyway, hope to see you back here tomorrow, and thanks for watching.